Frankly, I thought the food truck phenomenon was just a trend. But it's obviously not a trend anymore. Uh, White Spot, Carl's Jr., Tim Hortons. We've put pizza ovens into trucks. 7-Eleven build that's a slushy truck. Mac and cheese. A couple of fire trucks. So it's pretty wild what some of the people come up with. Great ideas. My name's Norm Kerfoot and I am the owner of Apollo Custom Manufacturing. We started up uh, back in 2000 and we were involved in a lot of different types of steel fabrication, custom stainless, custom aluminum. We did everything. I mean, we built bike racks, we built gym equipment, uh, we built neon sign boxes, anything and everything, just to keep the lights on. There's not much that we haven't built over the years. My name is Rob Mallory. I'm officially known as a sales and marketing manager, but I wear many hats. HR office administration, and uh, wash them cleaner on occasions. <laughs> My longtime friend Norm Kerfoot gave me a call and said, listen, you know, we need somebody that has some sales experience, some corporate experience. Uh, we're, we're expanding, we're growing, would you want to give it a try? And I did. My name is James. I open up the shop in the morning and I usually close it in the evening. And, uh, I set all the guys up through communication with Norm of what their duties are during the day. Probably what I enjoy most is the different variety of food trucks and carts that we do build and outdoor kitchens. So it's pretty, it keeps your mind working. Uh, Apollo uh, has built a reputation of being able to build uh, a certifiable commercial kitchen into almost any vehicle that's brought in. And as a result, we've had some pretty unique vehicles that have been brought to us. We recently did a double-decker bus, and that one was very unique and, and quite a challenge. Um, as that build went on, it, the build got bigger and bigger and we ended up doing more and more to it. That was pretty unique. This is my son, Philip. When it started to come together, it looked pretty cool. The raising roof, it was pretty awesome. When we had to chop the roof off and make it go up and down on air cylinders, it had its, a lot of challenges, but I think it turned out pretty good. And you go upstairs and there's a, an air assist lifted roof. We cut the roof off and put rams in all four corners to lift the roof up to make it airy and then put in uh, dining tables and, and benches to sit up there. Every job we do is a little bit different than the other one, or it's a lot different than the other one. So we're, we're always thinking, we're always evolving, uh, we're always trying to come up with a better product. The guys kind of look at it as a, you know, a bit of a work of art with some of the jobs that actually go out the door. And, and, and that's, they're very proud of what they do and you get an old beat up truck that comes in here and when it leaves here and just looks like a million bucks, right? We're lucky we have a young group of guys that, that are eager to work and eager to put out a good product. I've met a lot of really nice people, a lot of nice interesting people. We honestly believe that we've provided them the best tool for their business, their mobile business. And you know we hope the quality and uh, care that we've taken with that vehicle has stood the test of time and has proven them a valuable tool in their business.
basically you've built somebody's dream and when they're overjoyed with the final product, I mean, that, it, it, it feels fantastic, it really does, because you're helping them launch themselves into a, into a new business and uh, it's, it's great being part of that.